Let's take a look at a, a CMOS timer. I'm using an ICM 755. Now they're compatible with the standard 555 timers, you know, just your Jelly Bean timer. But these are these use uh, CMOS transistors. So CMOS is a complementary metal oxide uh, semiconductor. So inside there, they use two two uh, transistors, and you know, an N type and a P type here. And they have low static consumption because when one transistor is turned on, the other one's going to be turned off, and vice versa. The only time we're going to use power is when we change in states there. So sitting in the static state, one of these is going to be off and no power is going to go through there or very little, just a little leakage. Um, now, here's the uh, block diagram here. And on your normal timer, the, you have uh, your voltage divider over here. So you put uh, two thirds your voltage on this comparator and the other third down on this one. And originally they say they were 5K each. Hence, 555s five, five, five or your triple nickel. Now, on these uh, CMOS timers, these resistors are, are over 100K each, maybe 125K each. So, and that keeps the uh, power consumption down also. Now, the trouble with these timers is that I think most of the ones you get out there are fake. I bought uh, 10 of them from AliExpress and they were, they were fake. And then I bought... Uh, 10 more from uh, Amazon and those were fake now it the standard 555 are so cheap now that they're you know six cents a piece or so so they can buy a bunch of those up rebadge them and sell them as these CMOS timers and they actually work in the circuit they're an actual timer that works but they have more power consumption so it's just too easy for them to make fake ones so I ended up buying uh, some from DigiKey and with the shipping, it cost me about a dollar eighty a piece. But uh, I got them, and they, the real ones here. So I'm going to show you how to uh, how to test them. But uh, I'm making a a stable timer here. Now what I want to do is I want to have a, a LED that flashes, and I want to have uh, you run it off of a, a couple double A AA batteries, and I want a thing to last for you know maybe up to six months. So I want the power consumption to be way low. So, like I said, on the, uh, you know, all the, the math works for, for either timer, same thing. But on the, the standard timers, you know, I mean, you usually start off maybe with a, a 10K resistor and a 1K resistor. So in this case, I'm using a 1 meg and a, a 47K. I mean, I could even go up to uh, 1.5 meg here if I wanted to. And the reason for that is, is that's going to help reduce the power consumption also. So... It's just an ape stable timer and this just is a very common circuit that you use on all of them and i'm using the higher higher values on this one just to reduce the uh, power consumption so here's a unit here in fact i'll turn that on so there we go this one here is uh this is the, the standard uh, um 555 timer i've got a 10k and a 1k on here and on this one, I've got the one meg and the 47K here. And so this one just flashes uh, and it's using very little power there. Now, in order to, to tell a fake from a real one, let's see if we can see this. There we go, I think you can see that. So this is a, um, oh, we got to put the, the ground on the ground and the hot one on the hot one here. I'm going to do it like this. There we go. All right, that's uh, that's about 15. That's by three five five k uh, resistors in there. This one here is the uh, NE555. Uh, yeah, about 18, so probably 6K resistors in there, three of them. Now this is the, the CMOS one here. And it's on meg ohm scale and it's uh, 0.425 meg ohms, okay? So that's how you tell the difference between a real one and a fake one, uh, just with your ohm meter. So here it is here. And uh, 
it's going to draw very little power and this thing should uh, last for uh, for quite a while of course i'm only flashing it on just for you know a, a small part of the time so that's uh, the shimos uh, timer and uh, you know make sure yours are real when you when you get them and uh, thank you